Sure. Uh, I'm a uh, pediatric immunologist and uh, have been involved in biotech for quite a few years. In my uh, earlier days, I was chief scientific officer at a company called Centicor. Uh, they were the very first ones to use an antibody to inhibit uh, cytokines in the blood. The cytokine they inhibited was TNF, tumor necrosis factor, and that resulted in therapies for rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's, and psoriasis, which has actually changed the lives of those people and now the follow-on products. So I've uh, moved through a venture capital and ran some big organizations. In uh, July of last year, I agreed to be CEO of 180LS, where we brought together our colleagues that had helped develop anti-TNFs and several other therapies. So our new company is off the ground and we're uh, doing some very cool things. Sure, uh, Dupuytren's is a condition where a, a small nodule begins to form in the palm of your hand and the nodule gradually gets bigger and actually pulls your fingers together so they're contracted. So you couldn't uh, type, you couldn't uh, play an instrument, you couldn't button your clothes. And about 11 million people in the US have it, about the same in the European Union. Uh, and this goes on for some time. All of the current therapies for Dupuytren's contracture are after you have the disease. So you're already disabled. 180LS has figured out how to prevent this from moving forward altogether. And we did that by our scientists uh, looking at what mediators were driving the fibrosis condition in the palm. And we found that injecting anti-TNF into that nodule uh, prevents it from continuing. So we've enrolled 181 patients in a randomized placebo-controlled trial. Uh, all of them got the injections uh, that they uh, were, were scheduled for. Uh, unfortunately, the readout was held up because of COVID. We couldn't get the patients back in to do it, but that's done now. So we'll have the data from this. This is the largest Dupuytren's trial ever run in the world. And we'll have that data probably in uh, early fourth quarter of this year. Well, I mean, uh, my wife had uh, Dupuytren's and did a year of steroid injections and then had to have surgery. And now a year later, it's partially back. So none of these are satisfactory. If we can prevent this, it's a huge benefit to the uh, patients and prevents them from getting the disability altogether. So this is a relatively easy therapy, uh, tiny injections into this nodule and uh, make it go away. So prevention is, uh, as you know, much better than uh, treating the uh, end stage disease. We have two or three other trials that are looking to prevent diseases. Uh, frozen shoulder is another thing similar to Dupuytren's. Your shoulder becomes fibrotic and frozen. We want to prevent that. And we have another trial in post-operative cognitive dementia after surgery that we think is caused by TNF, and we want to try to prevent that too. We have a number of other programs coming along, mostly aimed at preventing things before they become severe. Well, it's an exciting company and our colleagues uh, uh, have done all of this before. Dr. Feldman, myself and Dr. Steinman and Rothbard have all invented several drugs. So we really know what we're doing and uh, we're back on track. It's very exciting. 